Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So I'm working on Vigilante today. This is the car that we're building by hand. And I've already started mocking up the fenders and the, the front fenders and all that. I have the body pretty much done. The grill's finished up. It's all pretty much done. But I'm working on the frame today and putting the uh, subframe on the frame today. And in yesterday, or in yesterday's video, I showed you where I was, uh, you know, cutting and spot welding stuff. Everything was, you know, set up with the lasers and the string lines and all that stuff. And I wanted to say also, I got everything back and forth this way. And I, I took a bunch of measurements off the, uh, everything on the frame that I knew that matched on the other side, like the grease zerts, um, any holes that were stock from the factory. And I squared those to the back part of the frame back here. And I only went to here. And I squared those to here, back and forth, crisscrossed it so that everything is square, plumb, true, level, all that good stuff. And I have my table squared and plumbed and true and all that. And then I have this frame one inch off the uh, table with the one, two, three blocks. But what I'm working on today is, I've been working with uh, Bill Cameron and Edge of Eternity on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, go check him out, lovely guy, appreciate it, brother. But I have all these, <clears throat> excuse me, all these measurements for him and I went through just sheets and sheets and sheets of papers and he's doing some CAD drawings on the side views and everything else. And I scribbled down a bunch of notes for him and then I'm trying to hurry up and get the uh, subframe put on this frame so that, uh, you know, he's gonna help me on the back part of the frame with the uh, the rise for the rear end and the wheelbase and all that good stuff. Now who's here? Yeah, whatever. They can stay outside. But right now I just took a, a piece of a, this is a piece of poly or a, oh, I never remember what it is every time I go to talk in a video. <laughs> uh, Delrin, this is Delrin plastic. I use this for metal shaping and stuff. And I use it for, uh, you know, like cutting things out and whatever, making different shapes. And I took and put that inside here and you can see my chalk line right there. And then uh, I'm gonna cut from there down, cut this piece off. And then what I'm doing is I'm gonna be building some metal pieces here that are gonna actually go over the top so that the frame will go like this and come down. And then there's gonna be another gusset here. And then there's gonna be another gusset that goes from here to here. So this frame is gonna be ridiculously strong. And then obviously you have your cross members and everything else. So it'll be really strong when it's done. So today what I'm doing is I'm trying to get these pieces trimmed off where it came out like this for the Chevy S10 frame. It was like this and I'm cutting all that stuff and kind of whittling it back till it meets my two by four tubing. This is two inch by four inch by eighth inch tubing is what I'm using. Somebody's gonna ask, they always do. And so I'm gonna get this piece cut off and then I'm gonna start building my pieces for the outside so I can get them spot welded on and then double check everything with my measurements and make sure everything looks nice, make sure they match. And then I'll do the same thing here. There's gonna be a gusset that goes from there down to there like this and come up, but it's actually gonna come from down here. So it's gonna be part of the frame here. And then there's gonna be another gusset that'll go on the outside here and go down over the top of this frame and then I already cut that off and that one's coming over the top here. So that's gonna be another gusset to hold the frame this way, like that. <clears throat> but I'll give you guys an update as soon as I get some of this cut and welded and moved around a little bit where I like it, where it looks good. And you know, I wanna put a, a show paint job on this frame. So I'm, I'm gonna sandblast it, clean it all up, degrease it, make it look really nice, get it in primer. And you know, maybe in the next couple of weeks if I have time, but we'll see what happens. So, the uh, old brake lines are right here. I'm taking those off. And the reason I'm taking those off is it's blocking this piece of metal that's gonna go here. Obviously this is plastic, but I'm gonna take a piece of metal from here to here and I'll have to grind all this and get it down to bare metal because it's kind of surface rusted real bad. That way it's got a clean spot to, to weld to. And then I'm covering up this seam that's in here where they put the frame together on these S10 frames. So I'll run a piece of metal over this. It'll look nice and clean with that transition. And then it'll just run down into the frame, but really super clean when it's painted. Yeah, I gotta take this one off too. This is a brake line holder, but I'm gonna put new ones on the frame. They'll be tack welded on here. So I can go ahead and take that off too. 
which I don't think that one's in the way, but it's fine. And then all this stuff here, whoa, almost dropped the tripod. All this stuff right here is gonna, is gonna work out great. I don't have to modify this side at all. So that's all stock factory frame right there. And how that one's gonna go is it'll just go right here into this frame like that. And then that piece sits at the top. So I actually have to do the sides first and then, and then that way I can cap everything with the top and then weld and grind everything and it'll make it where it's, this is welded to this and then you know, I have the inner structures welded together and then I have the outer structures that are gonna be your gussets. So this is gonna be super strong. So I just welded the opposite side of that right there. And then you can see here and here on the other side, I have that plate and I'm getting ready to weld that now. I got everything cut, clamped up, and then I drilled some holes through here. That way I can uh, weld through this and it's gonna bind this to this before I bite, you know, weld it here. And then I'm getting ready to weld all this stuff here. All this crap, you know, all the way around. And then this will be all plated. That'll be strong as hell. And then obviously I'll put that piece on the top also. And then on the opposite side and then on the bottom. So I plug welded these here. Everything's still real hot, so I gotta be careful, but I'm using the Yes Welder. And this thing is amazing. Thank you, Yes Welder. It's one of our sponsors, but really appreciate it. So I got this welded and I couldn't fit in here. When I get this tire pulled off, I'll have room to get in there to weld that, to weld that seam there. Now this looks kind of ugly on the bottom because this is gonna get cut up, up to here, but I wanted to leave something, the shape, that way when I get inside there and I mimic that shape, I have something to go by and then I'll be able to cut this back wherever I want it to. So that's not how that's staying. Next thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grind this down a little bit and then get this stuff ground down and I'll make that piece for the top right here. And that's a two inch strap it is flat strap is what that's gonna be. So I'll get that welded up. That's gonna be really, really strong though. Like, I mean, this is way overkill is all it is. <clears throat> you know, because this, this tubing is eighth inch, the steel plate is eighth inch and the frame itself is only like a uh, 16th inch or something. It's real lightweight, you know? So it should be pretty good. All right, I got uh, everything welded up, this top piece welded in, and then I was talking to Bill Cameron right now, and I drew in the shape that the frame's gonna be, so it's gonna come up like this, like that, like that, and then this piece that I left over here, the reason I left it on there is from the other side, when I flip this uh, frame over on the table, I'll be able to trim this off where I want it from the inside, you know, by tracing everything. And I'll probably do a paper template or cardboard template and transfer it to both sides so they match identical. And then uh, everything else will be smoothed out, like this stuff right here. I'll weld this and then grind it. And same with this right here, it's hot. I don't wanna to touch it right now, I just welded it. But all these holes will be filled up and then, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. And then this will be uh, you know, finished so that you can't tell it's even there. Um, gosh, I can't think, my brain's not working today. Um, it'll be feathered. It'll be feathered out to that section here, you know, out to about right here so that it's smooth completely. And even if I have to weld a little piece in there just for looks to smooth that out, I don't want to look at those body, these, not body lines, these lines, these frame lines. I don't want to look at those when everything's ground down and cleaned and prepped and looking nice when I go to paint it, you know, I want it to look really, really nice. So I'll probably do that later. And then I'll do the same thing here and feather this out into the frame. And I don't wanna just use body filler, so I'll weld in a piece of a little bit thinner sheet metal or a steel. That way everything's smoothed out, makes it look nice. And then um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run any designs or anything on the outside of this yet. I was thinking about just smoothing it out. You know, it's, it's going so well, I might just leave it the way it is. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys on the next video. I appreciate you watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you got notifications for the next video. Thanks for watching, later.